Hello everyone, so one more video in English, let's try to balance the language of this channel. Uh, it also helps me uh, practice a bit of my English. So in this video, I'm actually bringing to the channel, I believe this is going to be uh, the first uh, video globally on YouTube demonstrating um, the connection, the LAN connection of this unit the RIGO MSO 5000 using VNC, right? So uh, this is this comes in the latest firmware update. So uh, I believe it's going to be available soon on RIGO website, uh, or you could try and see if it's already available. So the latest firmware um, allows you to control this scope via VNC, right? So you're wondering, if you already experienced before uh, controlling a scope uh, via VNC, such as this one here. So this Agilent DSO 6000, it also works with VNC, but it doesn't have the interface for it. So it's just for visualization. visualization. You cannot control it from VNC. So that's the difference um, that Rigel is taking the lead now. Of course, that is a node scope, right? But now you can fully control the unit, not only for visualization on VNC. And I'll tell you why. Let me show you something. So if you click on the apps menu, you can already see that there are many apps there. You might wonder, oh, Rigo is, you know, uh, making available a bunch of applications, new applications. No. That's not how it works. These are just the menu shortcuts. So, for example, display. You can use this to bring up the display menu very easily because on VNC, you don't have the buttons, right? You don't have these, how to, how to you know, bring up this menu. There is no other way on VNC uh, that is not through this app menu. So that's how it's gonna work. So let's first, um, see the difference between VNC, why VNC, right? So I can already control my Rigel scope uh, through the IP directly on my browser, right? So why would you choose VNC? And I'll tell you, because it's faster, much more responsive than regular IP on your browser. So with VNC, it's almost instant. It is, you click, it works. So, uh, you know, that latency, that lag, that we all experienced uh, using the IP directly on the browser to control our instruments, that is gone, okay? So I'm going to put the camera uh, there on the computer just for you to see. I'm not going to capture this screen, okay? I'm going to use this camera to capture the screen that uh, I'll show you on my monitor and I'll show you, please focus, all right, thank you. <laughs> so, and I'll show you how responsive that is. Okay, so I'm just going to reposition the camera and I'll go back to the video. All right, so I've repositioned the camera and now you see that I've just input the instrument IP um, on my browser, right? And this is the welcome screen and there you have the instrument, okay? So if I go into web control, you, I can actually do things, right? Uh, but this window is not resizable. I cannot put it uh, in the size that I want. And there's also the latency. Let me show you with my mouse. So if I click on, let's say display. So look at this. So one, okay, now. Look at how, how, how slow that is. So utility. Now, one, two, two seconds, couple of seconds or even more. So this is really bad. So let me hide this this tab here so now hide you see see how long it takes so this latency uh, it's annoying right and uh, when you're working and you want to speed up things by doing it remotely that really bothers you right so let me show you on vnc how that works so i just uh, created a new session a new connection and i've input the same ip is actually the same ip that i input in the browser and I'm just, I've just labeled it MSO uh, 5354, and that's in okay. That's about it. Double click it, 
there you go. We have a VNC, uh, VNC screen connected to the instrument. So now let's see uh, how is the latency. So let me just click on the apps menu. So let me show you now. Look how, how fast it is. So now you see why you need all those apps, right? Because for, in order to control the instrument, uh, fully control the instrument, you need everything here. Because, you know, there's no menu on the right side. There's no button, right? Uh, there's no button there. So if I want to go into display, let's do it again, same test. So now, look how instant it is. So let's go to utility again. Now. It's very, very good. So clicking outside and hiding the tab. So hide the tab. You know, you, you, it's significantly faster. I believe it's milliseconds right now, right? It's less than a second. So if you want to change the vertical, just click on uh, here, you know, 500 millivolts, and it will open up this screen, this screen here. So, okay, let's, you know, change the vertical. It's fine. Change the vertical again. Let's go up to... 10 volts okay so look and uh, I could just input uh, the offset here so let's say we are in 500 millivolts let's say 100 millivolts yep so there is your offset so I could just you know keep doing this look so I could change the position of the offset bring it back to 0 volts Fairly easy. Okay, so if I want to open up a generator, here's the generator. Hide it. Turn it off. Uh, now, it turned off. So let me bring up the logic analyzer. There is your logic analyzer menu. So if I want to turn it on, just turn everything on. Look at this. So turn it off. Yep, and hide it. And if I click here, I could, you know, Quickly change the configurations. So look how fast it is, right? Oh, I didn't click it. Oh, there we found the leg. <laughs> so sometimes maybe the logic analyzer is an exception. Let's see here again. Oh, yep. I have clicked there. And it, oh, okay. So sometimes this guy here might give you a significant lag. Uh, lag let's see close again oh okay all right so uh, it, it's you can see that rarely at least it's not all the time right so for this guy here let me turn on one channel channel four turn on channel four. Oh, okay so he was processing this logic analyzing stuff okay so turn it off okay okay so let's do the same thing again on the browser let's see uh, if I want to bring up the logic analyzer menu, wow, okay, that's really slow. And let's do the same thing with here. Oh, uh, yeah, it doesn't bug like that on VNC. Closed it. Yep, it's pretty laggy. Turn on channel 4. Yep, turn off. Well, okay, we see an improvement. This is pretty slow when we click on these guys here, so probably clicking on those apps here is going to be faster than VNC, but still clicking on here, um, like in the channels and turning on these things might be comparable, but still better, right? So that's about it. I just wanted to tell you uh, that uh, it's a great feature to have if you do automated stuff, right? Um, if you just you know, set up um, your your circuit and leave it there. And afterwards, you just you don't need to be you know clicking on buttons and adjusting everything. You just control it from your computer. Obviously, if you want to automate it seriously, you'd use uh, SCPI commands or MATLAB with those um, virtual instruments in Simulink, right? Or even in Python. Um, of course, serious automation, you need to do some programming, right? But this simple um, access, remote access, has really improved. That's the main thing, okay? So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like more videos in English, please let me know in the comments down below.
and also leave your comments uh, what do you think about this new feature allowing you to use VNC and uh, have full control of the instrument. Alright, so see you in the next video. Bye bye.